Greetings from the eruption site. Today is September 12th, already 3 o'clock in the night, and this is the show we have today in the night at 3 o'clock. Still many people here, uh, and we are on the slopes of Fagradalsfjall mountain above Geldingadalur valley. Uh, volcano wall cracked, and lava is coming through a fissure in the volcano wall to the north. Uh, if you watch my previous videos, I was pointing to that fissure, to that crack during my previous trip, that's precisely lava broke through it and is going into Gelding Dalur. And it's splashing uh, in many places. This big lake, massive lava lake, has a uh, few boiling centers, uh, three boiling centers at least here at which it boils and we also see tornadoes in between in this lake as well lava lava whirlpools or tornadoes because um, it's getting a bit windy now there was no wind when i came here but now it's getting windy uh, people do fly drones and i also did one flight and but I don't think it's safe to fly above this immense lava lake because of very high temperatures. Uh, so I was just flying more to the side. <clears throat> it's getting colder now. There's cold winds are blowing. Oh, at least it's not as cold as in Siberia, but uh, it's um, relatively cold for Iceland. Uh, winter is coming closer about zero degrees no maybe not even zero maybe more maybe three four degrees plus <clears throat> and lots of smoke rising from this uh, lava pool you see and the lava is running south in the rivers in massive lava rivers it is breaking down here you see and at quite great speed it's pushing south, but it's a big valley. Geldingadal is a very long valley, so it didn't even come halfway. Uh, it's all concentrated here in the northern part of the valley. You see, this is what is happening here. Lava is moving in those massive rivers, lava rivers pushing south. And it's all coming from the volcano through that fissure is a uh, fontaine in fissure as you see here and there is another small hole also here so volcano walls are very vulnerable uh, the level of uh, lava in the volcano is not high because it's exiting immediately so it's not rising very high and it's exiting here through the hole immediately uh, then it's spreading around <coughs> I guess there are some gases here it's not very safe to be here a long time I guess so I'll be moving home soon I'm standing maybe 150 meters away from the oh, this lava flow up on the rocks here you see that's many people sit here or stand this is what is happening today um, Volcano is erupting. Nobody expected that. I even posted the videos at FMT Crater right in Volcano is dead, but you see it's always surprises us. It's very unpredictable. You can't say a thing. You, nobody knows, even scientists, nobody knows what is going to be and how it's going to develop and how much magma is uh, down there. So it's only God knows. We can't tell, we can't predict. Lots of noise coming from this uh, lava 
masses of lava are pushing through and they generate a special noise but because of wind uh, protection you can't hear the lava sounds if I would remove wind protection you would only hear the wind noise so there's also a very peculiar smell here how to describe it burning smell burning smell so this is you see this splashing uh, lava pool beautiful always Splashing. This is just the boiling lake. This is the, the middle of this lake. Of this massive lake, this epicenter is here, and it's just there, it's probably exiting through some tube there. Or I don't know how it's how this splashing is being generated. Anyway, greetings from Iceland. All the best to you. Uh, be well. We keep uh, filming here.